ready to take your fitness program one step further? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we start with a step touch. Step touch, step touch. In this workout, you have only two core movements. One is a step, step, and one is a touch. Step, touch, step, touch. The step is always fully weight-bearing, and the touch is never fully weight-bearing. And the thing that sort of screws up folks sometimes is forgetting to step on the foot that you just toe-touched. If you just touch, then you step on that same foot. Step, touch, step, touch. Okay, step, touch can go side to side, or it can go back to front. Four, three, two, last one, take it back to front. Step, touch, step, touch. Now, if I just change the style here a little bit, look at it. What does this look like? Ah, the old child. Yes! Give me the 1920s! We're out dancing now. So, here's the deal I have for you. From now on, if I want step touch back to front, I'm just going to say Charleston. Perfect. Okay? It's easier than say step front, step front, blah, blah, blah. Now, if we were to put the Charleston on the step then, it would look like this. So later on, when I tell you, when I say Charleston, you'll know that's what I'm calling for. Okay, three more back to front, two more. Last one, take it side to side. Now, if that's step touch, what is it just to step? Well, if you just step, 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 it looks like marching. Two more. Now, just march. And this, we call basic. So if ever we want this, whether it's on the floor or up and down off the step, we'll ask for basic. Okay, four basics, three, two, and four step touches. Four, three, two, four basics. Four, three, two, and four step touch. Now next time you do basic, step forward. Forward and back to step touch. Four, three, now try twos. Up two and back two. That's it. Forward and basic, back and step touch. Once more, now try singles. Forward and back step touch. Forward and back step touch. Hey, that's it. getting a bit tricky here. <laughs> so it's changing legs, right? That's it. This is how you change your lead leg. And it doesn't matter which leg you're going forward with right now. But man, you get up on that step. And if you don't change lead legs now, I mean, you're gonna wear out one thigh. <laughs> <laughs> so you change lead legs by coming off the step with one step touch. Good. All right. Four, three, two. Hold the step touch. Step touch, step touch. Now just put your little touch up on the step. Step touch, step touch, step touch. Four, three. Now give me four a leg. Four, up, three, up, two, up, and alternate. Four, good. Again, other side, so that step is your friend. <laughs> Get to know him. This is a good way of finding out what height you're going to be Two. at, too. Isn't it? Yes. And listen, it's fair game anytime during the workout. Just hold it here. If you feel tired, lower your step. Yes. You know, you could start off with a higher step and feel free down to drop down the height anytime you feel fatigued. Now, in a minute when I ask you, I want you to tap your foot up on the step and cross over to face Eric. Watch me, just have a look. You just tap up and over the strap. Okay, you wanna try that? Anytime, we don't all have to go at the same time, just whenever it feels comfortable to you. Cross it over. You all there? Got it. Yes. Right here. Okay, now tap it back on the other side where you started to resume your start position. You there? 
Yes. Well, if you can do it to face Eric, you can do it to face Die. So over you go whenever you're ready. That's it, you there? Okay, and take her back where you were. That's it. Four, up, three, up, two, up. Take it to basic. Just basic, that's it. Remember basic is just marching. Go forward and back. Forward one, back one. Forward one, back one. Okay, you ready to hit the steps? <laughs> Four more. Here's three. Two more. Now this time, take it on the step and down. Up and down. Now look down. Check it out, what you doing? Have you got, got your the feet whole on top. foot? <laughs> I mean your whole foot line. Charlie, you know my feet will go, your toes will go over the front, my heel will go over the back. Lottie doesn't size 13. He can barely get his whole foot up there. It's important that your heels are not hanging off the back of the step like this. You don't want that. That's hard on you. Get right up there. Now you see we're going to wear out this, this lead leg. So four more of these. Three, two, now this time, come down in a step touch and change leads. Three. You're right, the one leg will wear out, I think. Two. And a step touch, change leads. By the time we're finished, we'll have worn them both out. <laughs> <laughs> Hope so. And change. If you're a beginner to step, you can keep your eye down on the step now and then. It gives you a feeling of security and helps you know where you are. And we all look down periodically to check our position. Switch. Now, next time we switch, we're going to step broad on the step. Change like this. Broad and tight. Broad and tight. Sort of a One V more. step. A V step. That's it. Switch with change. There you go. Next time we change, we're going to add some hands, if you want to. Up, up, down, down. Match your hands to your feet. You're trying to confuse us, Charlene. <laughs> no, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to increase the workload. <laughs> Listen, forget the hands if they confuse you. Switch. Always get your legs going first, and then in a few weeks, when you've really got that mastered, you can add the arms. The major part of the workload in step aerobics comes from your legs, so don't worry about it. Drop your hands anytime you get confused or just get tired. How many pounds Change. are you using there? One pound. That's How yes. about you? I'm using the same. So am I. One pound or two will do. Change. Now in a minute, we're going to go down to set of two. Change. Here we go. Sets of two. And now change. That's it. You don't want to add hand weights until you become highly skilled and very strong. And maybe not then. It's entirely optional. Now listen. The last set of twos give me singles. Up and down and change. Up and down and change. That's it. See, I can feel it in those arms already. All right, two more. <laughs> Hold the feet, drop the arms. How about that for a birthday gift? Thank you, Charlie. Is it your birthday? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have looked around. You hear me trip? <laughs> Which brings me to a point. Keep your mind on your business. Now, Instead of stepping broad, step tight. That's it. Bring your feet right together. Good. Now you can really feel the On that little touch, down touch. Touch, give me a clap. Touch. It's hard to do with touch. weight, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Just clank them together. And in between the clap, out, in, out, in. Bend your elbows. It's, it's not like two big pendulums on a clock. Bend your elbows and lift with your upper arm. Now, while you're on the step, not on the floor, but up on the step, 
step out a little quarter turn off center. Now we don't change the pattern. Nothing's changed but the direction here. Now it's not a twirl, it's not a pivot, it's a stepped out step. <laughs> you really, really have to watch your foot plans here, don't you? You do. But it gives you a good opportunity to look around. <laughs> there's Eric. <laughs> and there's Diane. Hi, there's Di. <laughs> now listen, right now your foot plants are quite close together. I want you to try putting your foot plants farther apart. Big distant ones. Here we go. Step broad on the step. All right. That's it. Got it? Well, four of these, three of these, two. Hold the pattern, but keep it tight in the center. That's it. Three more. Two. Now spread them out. Are you vertical or are you hunched over? Stand up straight. Now, four tight ones. If you have to bend over at the waist, I fear that step is too high. Lower it. Now, four big ones. And stay close to the step while you're on the floor. Don't step way back there. Stay in close. Four tight ones again. That's it. Two more. Now, two big ones. Good. And tight again. You really have to keep lifted the whole time. Yep. I think it helps to think about lift, lift, tight. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Now we're toward Diane, toward Eric. Got it? Those are our landmarks. In a minute, when I tell you, we're going to add one Charleston. On each turn, we'll add one toward Guy and one toward Eric. You remember what a Charleston is? Yeah, we're yes. gonna go dancing. I know, I know, I heard you. Up, touch, down, touch. And it's gonna come right after the touch. Turn and touch, turn and touch. So that Charleston, fair warning here, is gonna come right after the touch. Okay, add a Charleston. Charleston. Turn and touch and Charleston. Turn and touch and Charleston. Now, what do you do if you get mixed up? <laughs> Go back to basic. You say it to yourself. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're really frustrated, you go back to basic. That's right. <laughs> I mean, if you feel like kicking me or kicking the step, just go back to basic. <laughs> but it helps a lot to say the pattern. Up, up, down, touch, up, touch, down, touch, up, up, down, touch, up, touch, down, touch. Mind over matter. Look, we do, don't we? We say it all the oh, time. Sure. Now you're doing a Charleston with a toe. Try a Charleston with a knee. That works. Whoa. That feels better somehow when that knee comes I up. I get right up here. It's a real natural movement, isn't yes. it? Good. Charlene, I think I can hear our friend Char back here breathing rather loudly. <laughs> well, she's breathing for two. All right. How's pregnant mom? <laughs> All right. Well, the good thing about step aerobics for pregnant folks is that it's low impact, minimal impact. Try a forward kick for the Charleston. Kick forward and down. Up, up, down, touch, kick, and down. That one works. Good steady workload. All right, I can feel it. It's amazing, you know, when you get 10, 15 minutes into step aerobics, how hard you're working and how steady the workload is. You don't tend to get the highs of high impact aerobics. Although I have a feeling you're gonna be able to get, the, to get us working have. pretty hard. <laughs> I do have a little surprise for you. Oh, super. It's called the peak performance period. <laughs> Kick backwards. Take your heel to your bum. That's it. OK, that one's easy enough. Good old hamstrings. Good. Hamstring yeah. contraction. Right there she goes. Good. How you doing? Are you standing straight? 
Are you stepping to the center of the bench? Got your foot plant right in the center of the step. Okay, a side leg lift. Not real high, nothing fancy. You have to execute a good quarter turn and then just lift one leg straight. Good. Do you notice how you never really lock your knees? Even when you stand up, well, even when you straighten your leg, you don't lock that knee. You don't have the time. Okay. Give me a toe again. Go back to a toe toss. That's it. Good. Now listen. Turn with no Charleston. Turn, 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 turn. Keep it turning. Toward Guess Diane. Charleston. Toward Eric. Toward Diane. Toward Eric. In a minute, when I tell you, when we're facing Diane, I'm going to ask you to use this pattern. Up, up, down, touch. Up, up, down, touch. And cross over the width of the step. We won't change the pattern. Here's Eric. Turn to Diane. Cross over, cross over. Up, up, down, touch. You with me? Yes. Good. It's the same tired old pattern. Up, <laughs> up, down, touch. That's it. Now remember those distant foot plants we used? We can do four cross and four distance. Okay, cross over. Give me four big ones. Four, three, two. Now face Diane and cross over. Four cross, three, Two, breathe heavy, open that mouth. <laughs> it's it's hot, believe me. <laughs> Somebody turn the oxygen on, please. <laughs> <laughs> no nose breathing. We want mouth breathing. Across. Actually, you use both during exertion. Okay, big foot plants. Two times. Face Diane and cross. Good. Big ones. Face Diane and cross. Hold these crossovers. Hold them. Ah, let's change the hands. Try scissors. Up and up. That's it. Now here's a little trick. If you get tired, you can give it this. You can snuggle those elbows right into your waist and just do little bicep curls and save energy when you get tired. Remember those Charlestons? Yes. All right. Add one Charleston right here. Up touch, down touch. Cross, repeat. Up touch, down touch. One Charleston. Okay, that's one time. Now cross over and do three Charlestons. Go on, two more. One more. Cross over, you got her. No problem so far. Three, up, <laughs> two, up, last one up, across. Remember, Charlene, you have to explain things very carefully for me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're already in a real sweat. You know? I am. I am. Okay. If you can do three toes, I know you can do three knees. Here you go. Three, up, two, up. Last one up across and repeat. This must be my Good. favorite, this knee up. It really is. It's just a real natural movement, yeah, guys. But, but it's high because intensity. Because you're lifting. Oh, it's good high exertion. Yeah, That's yeah, right. For sure. No joke. Woo! How about three forward kicks? Okay. There you go. And kick. Cross over. And kick. Remember, you can drop your weights at any time if you're using weights. You know what? Diana, I think you didn't even know that you were going to be leading this. You want to drop your weights? I think I'm going to, you know. You got it. You manipulate the workload any time. Yes. Diane, just put them under your step where you won't trip over them. Okay, three kicks. Catch you up. Are you with us? I'm with you now. <laughs> 
see backwards. If you stop, it's backwards. Hard. If you stop, Good. it's really hard. See, I'm still off. No, you guys. Crossover. She's back on this train. Yeah. <laughs> My bottom, you day. Your step <laughs> at any time. You're in charge here. Three. Two. Okay. Crossover three side lifts. Three. Two. And across. Now, if you got some hand weights, be sure you're not strangling them, will ya? <laughs> that just sends up your heart rate higher. It's called the presser response. Spots. And unfortunately, it doesn't get you any fitter. It doesn't correspond with increased oxygen intake. Now, in a minute, guys, when I tell you, we're still going to do three Charlestons, but each one is different. Now, listen, listen. Here we go. A toe, a knee, a kick, a cross. Total confusion here. Have you got it? <laughs> a toe, that's it. A knee, yes. A kick. All right. You got it. All right, repeat. Toe, knee, kick, across. Again. You're getting to a rhythm, don't you? Once you get into the yeah, rhythm, but you're just right. so you don't get too cocky, I'm going to change the pattern. Uh oh, I do kick that. Kick forward, kick back. Oh, I can't trip you up. <laughs> you try. Forward. Back. Side, okay? I'm not going to say a thing. Uh-oh. You can hear us thinking. <laughs> All right. Did you get it? Kick forward. I can hear them thinking. <laughs> Kick side. Here's your last chance. Forward and back and side. Listen, three toes as we did in the beginning. That's it, one more. Crossover. Repeat, three toes. All right, listen. Crossover only one toe, one Charleston. Got it. And repeat one time. Now listen, crossover, no Charlestons. Crossover, crossover. That's it, keep going. <laughs> We're there. We made it. <laughs> well, listen, troops, my hands are tired. Let's switch. Out, in, out. That Good. feels better. Good. Sweet yeah. relief. Look down. Watch what you're doing. Scoot back. Side touch. Side touch. Currently, the down touch is on the side. We're going to do four at the side and then do four at the back. We're going to put the down touch back there behind the step and call it backward touch. Here's four to the side. Three, two, watch out. Last one, now backwards. It's up, up, backwards touch. Three more. That feels two. quite different, doesn't it? Yeah. Now try it side. You got it? Cross over. I'm counting. <laughs> How many left? Me too. Last, Last one. one. Back. <laughs> Two more. Cross over. Have we got this? Uh-huh. All right, this is the the last practice. The last crossover. Uh -oh. Now backwards. Yes. Yes. Two more. Crossover. And hold it across. Hold the crosses. Two more. And then I want you to just stop. Just for a microsecond. Stop. One leg up. Other leg up. Step or straddle. And just touch. Don't step. Just touch. Up. Up. Straddle. Touch. Up. Up. Straddle. Once more slow. Up, up, ready, set, go. Up, up, straddle, touch. No, Tricky. Up, straddle, touch. You yeah. really have to keep lifted right here. You have to Don't think. You? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're with it? Lift and think. Yeah. Is it comfortable yet? Much now, better. Now, don't lean out. 
It's not lean. Just stand up. That's it. Okay, four straddles. Here we go. Four, three, two. Cross over. Cross over four times. Here's three. We're cooking. <laughs> okay. Now back to a straddle. Straddle, touch. Just touch. Two more. Last one, cross over. Are you comfortable with it? Feels good now. Okay, we're going to put them all together. Four straddles. Are you at the back of the step? After these straddles, we're going to go backwards. Last one, now backwards. Four times. Up, up, backwards touch. Two more. And across. Four times. Oh boy, yes. am I thinking now. Shark. <laughs> I heard a little whoop. Straddle. Up, up, straddle, touch. Two more. Now use your brain. Backwards. Four times. Are you counting? Okay. Sideways. Four times. This is the last set of four. Uh-oh. 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 Let me get a trick here. Straddle. Yeah, that means we're going to do less than four in a minute. It's just that you change more frequently. Now backwards for four. Three. Standing up straight. Okay. Across twice. Yes. Straddle twice. Yes. Backwards twice. Good. Repeat across. This is a challenge. Whoa. And straddle. Backwards. Now listen. One of each. One across. Now straddle. Now backwards. Across. It'll be the other direction. And straddle. And backwards. Across. That's not so bad. What will be to you if you mix it up on this? <laughs> Across. Catching this train back up is not going to be easy. And backwards. Hold it backwards. Hold it. Oh, we made it. <laughs> Are we all there? <laughs> all right, there's not much room back here, but see if you can step out a tiny little turn. It won't be a full quarter turn off center. That's okay. Do you remember what basic is? Just the march. Okay. Try four basics. Just up and down. And up, two more. Now after this last one, step touch on the floor and turn. Four, three, two. Here's your chance. Four basics. Just up and down. Three more. Two more. After the last one, step touch. And turn. So we're changing legs again here, aren't That's we? That's so that you don't end up doing yeah. basic on the same lead leg. Basics. Good old basic. That's it. Don't make it harder than it is. Now after this last one, step, touch, and turn. This is another one of those ones you've got to say in the cue to yourself to stay on. Yeah, lead, if you can't you? count to four, you're sunk. <laughs> Back to basic. Now, three more. Stand up straight. Last one, step, touch, and turn twice. That's it. Basic twice. Step, touch, and turn. Basic twice. Step, touch, and turn, and hold those turns. Good. All right. Moving on. Lose the turn, just face forward. Hold it backwards. Good, last one. Across, across. And watch what you're doing. Move back up to the center of the step. Okay, assess, assess. How do you feel? Well, my heart rate's up. It's time to take stock. The next part is easy up here, easy on the brain. Hard on the heart and lungs. Hard cardiovascularly. If you're already fatigued, you need to drop your hand weights and or lower your step. You know what? I'm 
I'm gonna hold my step. Go for it. We'll wait on you. Because the you know, next Diane, part, I think I will too. You're really gonna need cardiovascular stamina. Okay. Pregnant mom is down to just one riser, and that is just fine. And indeed, if you're a beginner, I suggest that's where you start. Last crossover, just get up on top. Just touch down. Don't put your whole foot down. Just a tippy toe. Hands side. Four, three, give me four on one leg. Same leg, four count. Now alternate, there you go, we'll try the other leg, four counts, black diamond this winter, I'm glad I took ski the ropes, two counts a leg, alternate, cutting those edges in, no yeah. more beginner slopes for these quadriceps, yeah. hold it here, <laughs> you know, I got the legs for it, I just don't have the guts for it, <laughs> okay, Look down, scoot back, watch out. You got it? We're gonna alternate four to the side and then four to the back. We're side and now alternate backwards. Step back. You got it. Step side. When you step back, shove your fists forward. Oh, that feels, oh, that feels yeah. good. Yeah. We need some changes. Arms and legs side. Feet back, hands forward. Wow, anybody notice anything? Yes. <laughs> Heavy breathing going on here. And back. I need more balance back here. Now listen, this time when you step back, the same leg, four counts. Same leg, three, two, alternate side. Woo! And back, same leg, four counts. Peak performance, period. <laughs> Three P's. <laughs> Woo! Again. Four. Side. Last set of four. Okay, side, alternate two. One leg back, two. Side two, back two. I can always Side. tell it goes quiet when we <laughs> perform this period. Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> what tells you it's hard work? Listen, one of each. One of each. Side and back. Side and back. Four. Three. Two. Hold it. Side. Look down. Scoot forward to the center of the step. These are fast. Now slow it down. Slow it down. Here's eight and seven, six, four more counts. Good, speed it up. Here's eight and seven. Now if you want to make it harder, you squat on the slow eight count. Like this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now fast, eight counts. So pick your poison, stand or squat. And ready, slow it down. But if you're squatting, make sure your back is vertical. Now four counts fast. And four counts slow. Oh, quadriceps, don't fail me now. Four, fast. Four slow, not leaning over, but sitting up straight. Four, three, the last set of slow, I promise. Fast, hold. Make sure you have your hands <laughs> forward. Whew. Now face forward. Seven, six, hang on. Four, three, peak performance done. Woo! Feels good. Hop on the floor and do basic. Wanna check a heart rate? See if you can find something there. At your carotid artery, or radial, radially. Ready, set, count. Stop. Okay. Where were you? 
you won't be any higher than, than you were just then. That truly was your peak heart rate. Ladies, have a look. If you're really gunning it today on a, a higher step, you may be well up in the 80% range. Men, your heart rates figure out just a little differently. I'd like to see you between 60 and 60 and 80 generally, but for that peak performance, you may well be up to 85. The question is, do you feel good? Have a look at the Borg perceived exertion chart. Borg will tell you how you feel. And I'd like you to feel at least in peak performance, like you were working hard or somewhat hard. If you feel good, you're okay. Okay, back to basic and put her on the step. We go up, look down, check it out. Okay, a whole new pattern. We've only had a couple of patterns so far. And here comes the third one. This leg. That leg, the second leg up, the one I'm hitting, <laughs> is gonna be a touch. It's gonna be up, touch, down, down. Not yet, not yet, now. Up, touch, up, touch, up, touch. And the problem is, if you step rather than touch, then you get all mixed up, okay? When you do the little touch, give me a, Pull, pull, up, pull. Are you with us? Yes. How are we looking back you. there? Yes. That's that good. good. Now we're just going to move this thing across the step. Watch out. Up, pull. Oh, I like that. You just cross your right leg over to the left side of the step, and your left leg crosses over to the right side of the step. Okay. We got a toe. Toe. If you can do a toe, you can do a knee. Up, knee. Up, knee. Yes? That's Diane's favorite? Yeah, my favorite. It is more natural. If you can do a knee, you can do a forward kick. Whoop, that's fast. That's a little flip kick. Now that's fine unless you have some sort of pre-existing knee injury that makes that fast little kick uncomfortable. If that's you, you modify it. If you don't like the kick, do a heel. Up, heel. It's almost a kick. You just don't go out as far. So if you prefer, anytime I say forward kick, you do a heel. Backwards kick. Bump. Heel to bump. That's it. Shelly's doing really well back here. Yep. No. I feel pretty good. Yeah. Char, do you feel okay? Yeah, I feel great, thanks. Good. How's the baby? Sleeping. Kick. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't know how, but. Well, this rocking action. A side lift. Bump. Face forward on the step. And it's not a very high lift. You don't have much time. Okay, back to toes. Good. One toe. One time. Now, in a minute, when I tell you, we're going to do three consecutive toes. And that's going to be a very fast repeater. Here it is. Three, two, one, and down. Three, up, two, up, one, up, and down. Say it. Three, up, two, up, one, up, and down. Three, two, up, two, up, and down. Three, up, two, up, one, up, down. Three, up, two, up, one, up, up and down. down. Okay. If you can do three toes, three knees. Yes. They're fast. Three, two, one, and down. So that leg on the bench is really the one working all the yes. time. Isn't it? That's for and sure. That's what I mean about the ski slopes. Yes. You know, your quadriceps have a lot to do with how hard you can press your edges into the side of the slope. Yeah. Okay, three kicks or heels if you prefer. Whoa, whoa. Three, two, one, and down. Think, lift, 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 and down. Three, two, 
One. Yes. Okay. Backwards now. Kick bum to heel. And down. Yes. I've got a feeling I've got to remember all this because there is something coming up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just as we did when we crossed the step widthwise. In a minute when I tell you, we're going to do three repeaters, but troops. Each one will be different. Now, listen. Trust me. A toe, a knee, a kick, down. Toe, knee, kick. Say it. That's it. Toe, knee, kick, down. Toe, knee, kick. Brain teaser. You got it? Lonnie's awful quiet back there. <laughs> he doesn't want to say it because he might make a mistake kick. there. The so, wheels are turning. Knee, kick. Listen. I'm going to change the pattern. Listen. Kick forward. Kick back. Heel. Down. Forward. Good. Back. back heel. heel. Down. Forward. Back. Heel. That's it. Go on and say it. Forward and back and heel. Good work, guys. Kick forward. Back. Heel. Forward. Back. Well, that's for you to work on. After you do this video for a month, you'll say, oh, that's so easy. <laughs> Last time. Forward. Back. Give me three toes. All right. Three toes. Good. Give me one toe once and down. Up, stop. you from being complacent. Yes. <laughs> into a dream world. Well, Diane, it keeps you on your toes. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, that was a good one, yeah. I have to admit. Awesome. <laughs> okay, instead of to the ends of the step, put it center. Up, touch. Up, touch. Four more. You're almost done. Two. Take it back to basic. Good work. Okay. And four, three. Give me step touch. Step touch. Step touch. Now put that little touch on the step as you did in warm up. Step touch. You know what, there's a lot in there that may look simple, but we've got lots of movement traveling on the floor, oh. lots of repetition. Well, suffice it to say, I've had a workout. Yes, I have too. Okay, one leg, four times, four, and then alternate four. We're decelerating your heart rate. Four on one leg, and alternate. Give me two a leg. Alternate. Other side. And hold it right here. Now remember how in the warm up we straddled the step to face Eric? We'll do that whenever you're ready. Whenever it feels comfortable to you. Are you there? Got it. Okay. Now tap the other leg up and over. So you're on what I would call the front side of the step, and you'll see our best side, and we'll see yours. Uh oh. <laughs> Actually, it's Diane's best side. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> or Eric's. Okay. Tap the foot over and straddle to face Diane. Hello. You there? Howdy. Okay. Haul that other foot across now to resume your start position. Good. Four, three, try it with heel. Four, three, one leg. Four, three, alternate heels. Four, the other leg. Four, three, and hold these alternates. Two heels, two toes. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Now, what we're going to do is a toe and a heel. Toe, 
heel, toe, heel, we're ready, now scoot you up there to the step, and turn toward Eric, and give me a little rock and roll, heel, that's a neat move. toe, that's it, yeah, I like this, we got four, three, two, last one to the center, now the hard part, the foot that was doing the toe, make it the heel. The foot that was doing the heel, make that the toe. You can watch that one. Uh -oh. what? 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 What did she say? Forget it. Turn toward die. Okay, you did it. We don't know how, but you did it. We got four, three, two, Back to basic. There you go. You remember the grapevine? Yes. Step behind, step touch. Ready. That away. Step behind, step touch. Step behind, step touch. Put the touch on the step. Step touch. Step behind, step touch. That's it. Good. Now add two step touches. Once, twice. Step behind, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Step behind, step, touch, once and twice. Are you with me? Are you cooled down? I am. Well, that rate's definitely a lot lower. I'll tell you. <laughs> we had you up there pretty high. So, we'll still stay vertical here a second or two. Last time. And back to basic. There you go. Okay, basic. Up on the step. There you are. Now, hang your heels off the back. You know, we've been saying this whole workout. Keep your heels on the step. Well, now, reverse it. Let your heels just hang off the back of the step. And it takes practice because balance is a challenge here. Watch Eric tumble. <sighs> Come on, you never have stayed up here. <laughs> Plant the suggestion. Okay, take a favorite leg and press it down and up. Down and up. This is dynamic stretch for your big calf muscle. Stretch in action. Two more. Now hold it down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And oh, put some oh, I, know. I love this. I do too. Oh. That big gastrocnemius muscle, the big, more superficial muscle in your calf, is really challenged in step aerobics. That's right. It's no wonder that people who are beginning in step sometimes have a little sore calf muscle now and then. Okay, switch sides, the other leg, dynamic, down and up. So if you do find you have a little calf soreness, here's what you do. Take a good hot bath the next day, or a hot shower, let your legs soak, and then do stretch. The soreness is um, it's called delayed onset muscle soreness, and nobody really understands why it happens. Last one, and hold it down. But it's improved by stretch. Now this stretch is so intense, this is the most intense gastroc stretch you'll find. So this stretch must be limited to after your workout. When you, after exertion, you have maximum blood flow and your tissues are real malleable and flexible. If you should do this kind of intense stretch when you're cold, my fear is that you might tear tissue. I oh. need this stretch, Aaron. Oh, oh your, your oh, gas is so, so good. big, oh. oh, I need this bad. This is the muscle hunk over here. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'm I bet. feeling and, it now. And your muscles are tight too. Yeah, you they tend tighten to be up really tight. easy. Yeah. So I need to be warm first before I stretch. You bet. If you have a, a Charlie horse during the night, that's an uncontrolled muscle spasm in your gastro. So you should do a stretch for that, but a much milder stretch than this one. Let me show you the sort of thing I had in mind. This stretch is so mild, you could do it any time of day. Just push your heel down and press against the wall, even with both feet on the floor. That sort of thing you can do when you're cold. You've okay. got a better hamstrings. stretch to do down here, Charlie. Oh. I know, you just oh. couldn't wait to get those hamstrings oh. on stretch. Charlie, this goes so good. Come join I us. Know, oh. Guys. oh. <laughs> 
I think I can hear my hamstring. Oh, Eric just does his workout, so can he can enjoy. Oh. See, the tighter you are, the, the more you enjoy this. Bring one oh. leg up, the other leg is bent on the floor. Even if you're lying on the floor, bend one knee. Just try and straighten the other knee, but don't walk it. Just keep it as straight as comfortable. Then flex your foot so that your toes come toward your head. Now, clasp your hands behind that thigh and gently, prudently, pull your leg with gentle pressure toward your face. That makes a big difference when you flex your foot, doesn't it? Does. It does, yeah. Does. That hamstring group is a big muscle group and it, it passes over two joints, both the hip and the knee, so it's a two joint muscle. Yeah, just try, if you point your toe right there, see, it really lets it off. Yeah. And flex your foot again, and pull. Now you don't want it to shake, that's going beyond stretch to the stretch response, we don't want that, we certainly don't want any pain. Just a gentle tension in the muscle group in the back of your thigh. Yeah? Perfect. Okay. Switch off legs and don't be surprised if one leg is a little tighter than the other one. <laughs> Are you too? I think so. <laughs> okay. Try and straighten your knee as best you can. Don't lock it. Flex your foot so that your toes come toward your face and put a little pressure back there. Oh. You know, so I, I find that. that aerobic dance keeps me flexible, but repetitive activities like running and even tightens step you tightens you. Yeah. So what happens is the muscle group gets stronger and more toned, but at the same time tight. And that's why stretch is so critical. You gotta keep your muscles flexible and, and uh, normal length. In fact, I'll show you a test. If you just enjoy this stretch, I'll show you the test for normal hamstring flexibility. If you can sit with your back vertical and your, your legs straight out in front with your knees locked, that's normal hamstring flexibility. But if your hamstrings are so tight that you have to rock back and bend your knees, that's not normal. And you need to stretch daily till you can assume this position with comfort. Okay? And I guess it's good to stay a long time to do the stretch yeah, for a long yeah, time. Yeah, especially after exertion. Passive developmental stretch. Let's work on these guys. Let's work on hip flexors. Can you back up to the arm of a sofa uh, or the back of a tall chair? Now, if you're lifting as we are to make a prop, keep your back vertical. Don't bend over like that. Vertical. I want you to find something between hip and knee height and put one leg up. Maybe a piano bench, or how about a coffee table? Coffee table. A coffee table. Oh, my mother would kill me oh. if I did that. Well, oh. take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mom, Charlene said to do this. <laughs> now, the leg that's on the floor needs to point toward the prop. Lean in, bring your pelvis toward the prop and pelvic tilt a little bit. Look, this is neutral. Now pelvic tilt a little and oh. really push your pelvis toward the prop. That makes a big difference, yes. it really does. Where do you well, feel it? Where, well, where I was gonna ask, it? where do you feel it? What? I, you, yeah, yeah, I want you to feel leg. it. Right here in the inside yeah. of the leg on the floor. The hip flexor muscles arise in your back and come through your pelvis to connect on your big thigh bone. And those hip flexors, when, are, when they are over tight, contribute to back problems just like tight hamstrings. Okay? Flip her over. But just do a flip. Handstand? <laughs> <laughs> Leave that leg Mine up there. Was game. <laughs> now your shoestrings are on the prop. Hop away. Yeah. <laughs> Balance onto something if you need to. Bend the weight-bearing leg and nothing happening yet. So pelvic tilt. Take it from neutral to a pelvic tilt. What do you feel? Stretch. Yeah. You have to pelvic tilt passionately, yeah. not half-heartedly. And you feel stretch on the quadricep group. And boy, did those quadriceps work hard. I mean, what worked harder? 
Uh, all hip that flexors and quadriceps. Peak yeah. performance period. My quads were they were screaming. Big, yeah, they I were think screaming. I heard them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so, I heard yours, Lonnie. <laughs> and you certainly don't want the quads to get over tight. We want them strong. Strong quads mean strong knees, but we don't want you to be over tight. Yes. All right. Pelvic tilt passionately. Let her go. Oh, try the other side. Okay. Now, just lean in. You're taking your pelvis toward the prop because you're wanting to get the stretch in here. Can your pelvic tilt a little bit? Take it from neutral. Real hard in. Ooh. It's really subtle, isn't it? Like it the, the, is. It's just a... That's a good point, yeah, Lonnie. It really is. And I promise you, as you do this more and more, you'll, you'll figure out how to manipulate your body, what to tighten where, to get the stretch to happen in the right place. So that's why I always say where I'd like you to feel the stretch. Hip flexors, unstretch. <laughs> All right. Quadriceps left on the other leg. Just turn her around. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Balance is such a challenge, <laughs> such a skill. You can hold onto the door facing or something. Bend the weight bearing leg, and still there's not much happening until you pelvic tilt. Now, all of these stretches done on a prop are the intense format. These are passive developmental stretch, and these should be done only after heavy exertion. This is the kind of stretch that increases your range of motion, that really is highly effective in keeping all of your muscles that we're stretching at a normal, flexible length. Oh, passionate. Just, just watch that coffee table, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just certainly, listen, I certainly hate to be responsible for some, for some scratches. You're so gonna get a lot of letters in. Please <laughs> take off your shoes. Yeah. Please work out in shoes, but please take them off before you use the furniture. <laughs> I'm a mom. I know this. What does your mom have to say about that, Eric? <laughs> we'll have to ask her and get her to write shirt. Oh, <laughs> good work. Now remember, step aerobics is but one of the many wonderful formats in the aerobic world, but I want you to cross train. So you do step aerobics today and run tomorrow, and step aerobics the next day and cycle the next day, and then the next day aerobic dance, swim, and come back to step. So always keep changing your format so that you'd never get bored and you never get injured. Well, good on ya. Take tomorrow and do something different and come back to us day after tomorrow. Yes? All right. All right. All right. Woo. Right on. Good. good. All right. Good that was great. How's it, baby? Exercise wear by Gilda Marks Industries. Variable height steps by The Step. Weight equipment by Flex Weights. Makeup by John Cox of About Face. Hairstyling by Jerome and Bees Braiding.